Hello everyone, welcome to Jinghua Education, I'm Steven. In this video, we're going to talk about the introduction of exponent part 9. In part 9, we're mainly talking about how to convert radical expression into rational expressions, or using rational convert to radical. Okay, so if you haven't checked the part 4 and 5, please go back to do so. Uh, I'm mainly talking about this part on the tutorial 4 and 5. Yeah, please make sure you go back to check that one out. Otherwise, it's pretty hard to follow here. Okay, so let's see questions here. We have a radical expression here. What is radical? You see this sign is radical. Okay, so and the negative sign here, it's just negative sign for the uh, very outside. So we don't care about that. We just leave here. And then square root. We don't have any number here means square, means 2. Okay. So a to the power of 3. So a to the power of 3. So root means denominator, which is 2. And that's it. Very easy. OK, the next one. We have a double square root. Don't panic. This is just a power of power. So just copy this one and then convert whatever inside. a to the power of square root root which is equal to a to the power of half okay and then a to the power of half let's look in these things as a whole terms and then entire square root which is equal to a to the power of half to the power of half so power of power equal to power multiply so which is equal to a to the power of one fourth okay maybe you think that's easier let's see the next one uh, a to the power of cubic root, so which is still leaving the big square root outside. A to the power of this is cube root, so it's one third. Okay, so and the entire one third being square root, so a to the power of one third to the power of one half. So power of power equal to power multiply equal to a to the power of one six. OK, so yeah, maybe so far you think the question is really easy. Let's see the next one. Next one, not that nice, but still totally doable. OK, we can simplify before we do anything. OK, we have 64. This is one term. A6, one term. B12 is another term. We have three terms inside. And then the cube root is applying for each one of them. Let's convert it. 64 A6 and then B12 is applied by one third because this is cube root, right? Everything will be covered in a big square root. We can do something here. 64 to the power of uh, one third, which is how much? Which is cube root of 64. It is just equal to 4. A6 to the power of one third. Just a 6 times 1 third equal to a square. And then b12 to the power of 1 third equal to b12 times 1 third equal to b fourth. Okay? And then let's do it, taking the square root. The square root just equal to power of 1 half, right? So this thing's power of 1 half. So power of 1 half is applying here, 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 three terms again. So 4 to the power of 1 half, just square root of 4, right? Just equal to 2. A square to the power of 1 half equal to 2 times 1 half, because it's the power of power 2 times 1 half equal to just 1 here. B fourth to the power of 1 half, just 4 times 1 half equal to 2, B square. See, after we done the simplifications, this complex one become very simple. And that's it. Okay, so this part is nothing really hard, but the main focus is how do you convert the radical into rational. When you see rational uh, powers, don't panic. It just means rational, uh, radical. Sorry, later when we do radical part, we're going to talk about this again. OK, so if you can try, you can try to pause the video and then do it yourself. You will realize 
sometimes it's not as easy as it looks. Okay, so hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I will answer your question in my next video. All right, so thank you for watching.